The Tap Animation series are no longer on Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. They are behind the power couples like Brianna and Preston and their YouTube channels, and all the machinery that helps them recreate and reimagine how the entertainment content is created in 2021. And there's even a surprise connection with one of the other larger creators who developed a playbook with them. Welcome to Tahir's Tea Channel. My name is Tahir, and today we're talking about Brianna, we're talking about Preston, we're talking entertainment industry, and how the business and creative worlds collided to create something truly special. Special. Let's do this. Preston and Brianna is what I would call the new generation of the YouTubers. Yes, Preston has been around for the past 10 years, but really he starts seeing that growth across the multitude of his channels happening in the past five years or so. He met Brianna, who had zero YouTube aspirations, yet three years ago he convinced her to start after they got married, and well, six million subscribers later, these two combined share almost 30 million subscribers across multiple different channels, and there's close to 50 people supporting this infrastructure. Preston appeared on the Creator Economics podcast to show what it truly takes to create the kind of deceptively simple content both he and Brianna produce and deliver week after week after week for the past few years. How big is your team? Like, how do you even think through like uh, and, and plan all of that stuff of just getting that many videos out per week? The total employee cap right now is about 45, but we do a lot for, we do, we have like real estate that we do. We have our new coffee shop, so each one of those have like a staff of like eight wow. and then we'll have merchandise another staff of eight. We do everything in house still, which is really fun and cool. And then the production team's about 26 and it includes myself and my wife and two other employees. So it's very lean. The real life production is definitely consuming more of our team, but I've always just really enjoyed making content. And it's been something that I just, I love doing. Two of them combined deliver upwards of 300 million views every single month. According to some of the stats that I found about Nickelodeon Cartoon Network, this is almost five times more than what both of those major network channels deliver combined in the same time period. And yes, the stats can be outdated, they can be old, they can be deceptive because those networks are not good at sharing them. But even if Preston and Brianna match the viewership of Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, this is a tectonic shift in how the media is consumed today and the early sign of a lot more to come. Who we'll write these? The reason why I compare these two YouTube creators to those two channels is primarily because of the fact that they target the same exact audience. Probably around six to 16 year old age range is where both of their sweet spots are. And yes, in big part, this video is also inspired by my five year old who loves watching Preston videos or Brianna videos. And it's interesting where if given a choice, to watch something on a Nick Jr. and to watch YouTube videos by these two creators, he will pick Brianna and Preston nine times out of 10. It's funny to think back to the TV shows that I think inspired me the most as I was a kid, like Ghostbusters or Biker Mice from Mars. Yes, I did not make that show up. It was a real show. It was dope, shush. And you can imagine how this entire generation of the kids and probably the teenagers who are currently about to enter the high school, they all grew up watching their favorite entertainment series on YouTube created by these favorite creators like Preston, like Brianna. And for them, the segmentation in the future will not be based on the three digit TV channel that you used to watch as a kid while you were at home after school. It will be based on the YouTube channels that you were subscribed to. And for the business professionals, advertising professionals who are trying to develop their brands through advertisement, when you start thinking about it, if you wanna really choose between spending your money with Viacom and their channels or the YouTubers like Brianna and Preston, I would pick 100% of the time the YouTubers. Their audience is way more engaged, way more dedicated. They have multiple different ways by which the creators engage with them. So why wouldn't you spend less money with someone who have a better target and better understanding with what their audience likes? And I'm not writing off big corporations. I think big corporations have their place in the media for at least a few more years to come. But when it comes to the efficiency of every dollar that you invest as a business into advertising or brand promotion, YouTube is the way to go. Who we'll write these? There's a broader impact I'm observing made by these creators, but before I dive into that section, I want you to check out this segment from the same interview that Preston did with the Creator Economics to listen and understand what are the other ways by which they monetize their audience based on the entertainment content that they create. It's interesting, so how the economics work is your server, right, or your game on the Roblox platform, you have these microtransactions and you get paid in Robux. So more digital currency. Yes, and then you have to exchange the Robux 
uh, for like US dollars. There was a kid that was in college and I filmed videos with him, his name is Linkmon. He had like 700,000 USD worth of Roblox items. That hopefully explains why they have 50 plus people on their team. They're not only using those developers, the editors, to create the content for their channels for those mini series. It's all about figuring out what are the other ways by which the viewers can interact with Brianna, with Preston, and the servers to not only provide the monetization opportunity, they also provide that engagement opportunity that keeps the viewers coming back and what generates those 300 million plus views every single month. When I think about the corporations that I've worked for or I work for today, standing up the infrastructure like this would probably take six to 12 months between getting your executives signed off on this, getting all the teams hired, all the tools in place. Here, the group of 50 people led by a couple of creators and the right management team can stand up a process like this and generate the revenue and generate the new ways to engage with their end users within a few weeks. Some of you I'm sure are starting to observe common threads or even recognize the Creator Economics podcast that I've quoted in a couple of these videos before. And that's no surprise, read. This gentleman over here is the CEO of Night Media, the management team behind Mr. Beast, Brianna, Preston, and all of these creators over here. There's so much ideation and the creative process going on between all of these creators and the business side on Night Media that I cannot stop but being excited to see what else those teams will come up with besides some of these examples that I've shared in the prior videos and in today's video. And well, they yet again trying to change the world by making a very special announcement this week. Who write these? Night Media founded a venture fund. Yes, like a bunch of YouTubers and a good management team got together in the same room and created what is essentially a venture capital company. When I would say the words venture capital in the past, you would most likely associate it with this kind of a picture. But now all of a sudden, all these creators and the YouTubers became the investors who will slowly start hunting down interesting ideas in the business world and invest the funds that they make on YouTube into those businesses and most likely drive that revolutionary thinking and that engaged audience to augment those businesses. To me, this is the kind of change I'm most excited about. I would argue Night Media is actually a couple of years ahead of the rest of the pack. So we will see a lot more interesting, a lot more creative ideas coming both from their shop as well as from all the other companies to support thousands of other creators around the world. When you look at Preston, when you look at Brianna, when you look at how they revolutionized their own entertainment content and surpassed the Nickelodeons and the Cartoon Networks of the world, and how they now get more engaged in the business side of the world, you cannot help but think that we're observing just the tip of the iceberg and the following few years will bring a lot more for us to aspire to, to get inspired by, and hopefully to participate in, whether it's on the business side or just more content for this channel. Who write these? Have you heard about Preston or Brianna? Do you agree with me that they're revolutionizing the way we know entertainment industry? And which creators do you enjoy who also changing the way their segments of the market work? Share your thoughts, ideas, and links in the section below. <laughs> if you've been on this channel long enough by now, you know I love these kind of topics. I love the creative space. It's close to my heart, part of the reason why I have this channel. I love my business side of the world. I enjoy solving the business problems and seeing those two worlds slowly colliding and essentially mixing into something completely new and different. I love it. I love it, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to create this kind of content. If you enjoy this kind of content, you know where to find me because I'm here every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern on this channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share this video with the friends and colleagues. Here are a couple more videos for you to watch and well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.